has been about six months since I finished up the passenger side panel. So why not wait until the hottest time of the year to work on the driver side? I had already cut the panel when I made the first one. So my first task was to make a copy of the brackets. a lot of ideas for what I wanted this panel to do, but its main function is as a drop-down shelf to set my laptop on. So I needed to make sure that that part is large enough to accommodate it. Initially, I was just going to cut a hole in the middle of the panel, but in order to get enough real estate for my laptop, I had to cut it all the way down to the bottom. Since the shelf would now be removable, I decided to lean into it and make it a multifunctional surface. Close, but there is a slope this way, so I need to push it up. It tells me that that top bracket needs to be curved more. Too bad. Actually, the back looks better than the front. Test fit is good. Brackets are good. I just need to buy another one of these and another one of those uh, bolts. So I need to make an ace run. But it is. Uh, 108 degrees out right now, and that's probably going to be it for today. Yeah, my other concern is I have uh, the those hinges to go under here, and I'm just not sure. There's definitely enough clearance on this side. It's probably about like that. It's this side that gets narrow, so I might have to narrow my little shelf and just have it this wide because yeah it starts to get tight over here here's the underneath view you can see it gets much narrower toward the other bolt so i think i'm gonna have to put it right right here <laughs> it's like crack my show right right here it's gonna be the other hinge right about where that weather tech tag is. So window width.
Yeah, I think it's a uh, quitting time for today. I knew I was gonna need some sort of limiter to stop the shelf from flopping all the way down. And my plan was to install a stop on the backside. It did keep the shelf from flopping down, but it also kept it from closing. My next idea was some sort of clip or strap mounted to the top side of the shelf. Too shabby. extra inch to compensate for the bimini things. So we want to add another inch to make it 19. It's about one and a quarter all the way around. Okay, that's our intersection. Nearly forgot the little tab for the hanger. <laughs> that could have sucked. No, that is it. Tight turn. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. So this is the front side. Pretty good, right? Um, and this is the back side, which, so I expected it to be like that. It's just when I start sanding. This is the front side of the frame. Start to see a little damage here. And that wasn't there until I started sanding. And I'm even using, I think I got 220 grit on there. This side, rotten. Real bad, and this is the front. So this is the back. That means the brackets. Yeah. All right. Here's the front. And this goes that way.
more or less. I don't like these button heads, but that's what they had. That's what it is. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other part. Sucker's too small. It's the wrong size. No bueno. So I'm gonna try and find a different bolt and nut for now. That sucks. Shame on me for not double checking when I'm shopping or buy extras. So yeah, noob tip, buy extras. You have it. I hate that the finish doesn't match, but I do like it's short enough to be flush. I might have to go and try and find some shorter ones of these dudes. Update. Uh, I have now been working on this thing since July and it is now September. <laughs> uh, I'm going camping tomorrow and so I'd really love to have this buttoned up and done before I head out. So big push today. I've got the uh, big EVAP cooler set up out here uh, aiming at the garage. It's going to be 112 today in September. And this is what's on the agenda. First thing, start with the easy stuff. I have a bunch of dumb little accessories I want to get on the frame. So I think I'm gonna start with that. And then I have some other hardware for the actual drop down part that I wanna try out. Not sure if it's gonna work out, but we're gonna try. And, um, and this is one more accessory. This one goes on the drop down, if it'll fit. So that's the plan. It's gonna involve the uh, platform. So I don't remember if I filmed it or not, but um, I had put the magnet catches on the inside of this and I hated how it made this not flush. So I took them out and I had one of these dudes left from the camp kitchen build. So, and it fits right over the bolts for the bracket, so that um, works out all right. I think it's supposed to be mounted the other way around, but I didn't want a lot of hardware on this panel, um, so there it is. Yeah. And plus it makes this like a little grab, a little finger pull, so. If I've been driving around, I've been driving around and it's held, so. So be it. For here, so you can reach it from outside. Just lean in and pop open a cold one. I also have this, which is for my cell phone, sorry, my phone tripod. Because I, when I do filming, a lot of times I like the camera up here in this area. I think that looks like a good arrangement. Let's mark it. Mark it. bottle cage from my road bike here but not just for cups and stuff uh, my lantern fits in here you could put a jar in here and put little things in it so not just for cans this one's adhesive mounted and it's from Timu so I am not super confident in this adhesive but we'll give it a go if I have to follow it up with a couple screws, so be it. I need enough room to get to the top. I have my phone in there. I'll probably just use it for my wallet. I think the camera went off during the install, so I'm not sure how much of that you saw. I'm gonna try. <laughs> This should fit right in there. You just have to uh, aim it for the little connection in there. So let's see, I've got it on blue now. You got kind of an orange, red, green. Flash, 
fade. Oh, I like the fade. That's very relaxing. Off. Sweet. I should mention that somehow the bolt that goes here got way out of alignment and I couldn't screw it in anymore. The bolt really needed to be exactly where the hinge is. So I ended up making an aluminum bracket that goes around it to reach the attachment point. What if I just turn it around? That way there's no new bolt holes. I think that might be the plan, right? Yeah, well, that makes definitely is going to make it easier to attach and detach, but those pins barely reach. They are, let's see, they are barely, barely meeting. That one's done. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> thousand times easier. No idea if I'm doing this right. All right, update. So I had to do some mods on the back of the um, platform here to uh, put these receivers for the sort of cleats, you know, and yeah, so I have to move the support brackets over here, but um, it's a little droopier than I'd hoped. I hoped that I could just use the cleats to support it, but uh, they... Uh, Without the cleats, we get a second. That has helped is at first I didn't have the little ridge firmly into these notches. And they still don't look completely centered on their things. But once I got them right in there and really pushed it down, uh, this, is, this is really stable now. I don't even need a leg. So that's pretty great. And you can see my little shims i had to adjust the angle upward because my legs kind of toe in i guess a little bit they go in towards the center so it was making the whole table go like that so i countered it by shimming it up a little bit i don't know if that's the way to go about it but it worked and now that is that is solid yeah no legs needed I'm probably still going to add them because I want it to also be a freestanding table or like a bed tray. But uh, not required. This is fantastic. I most likely just put it down here. Nice little nightstand. I've already discovered something that I need to address um, with the second panel, and that is rattles. Oh my God, it rattles. And that is those pins jangling around in the receivers. So I think I'm gonna sleeve them with something cushiony because I can't with this. Not a man.